Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Shubham Timre and today topic is Work in Progress Inspection Plan in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Cloud. Okay, Work in Progress Inspection Plan. So a work in progress inspection plan contains element that represent the specific data that you are want to collect and report for the work order. It also contains information about when and how often you collect that data. Okay. So far as a work order inspection plan and this is the inspection plan. Okay. So inspection plan can be defined based on an item or operation code or we can say the operation sequence. So along with the dispatch status of the work order inspection will then be defined mandatory or optional so during the inspection here is the person who performed the inspection plan who performed the task inspection plan so during the inspection you evaluate asset against inspection characteristics so okay so in application you can define item based inspection characteristics and uh, inspection characteristics not based on item okay so in application we have two types of characteristics okay so first one is item based inspection characteristics so in these you can link item based inspection characteristics with attributes values in an item class okay so this enables you to verify if an item meets the required product specification item based inspection characteristics generally have a range of acceptable values of specification limit okay these are typically used for manufacturing but uh, may be used for maintenance application as well okay next one is the inspection characteristics not based on item you can define inspection characteristics that are not mapped to item attribute values okay so this inspection well characteristics can be number character or date you must specify a target value for all the types okay and where it applicable so a range or list of valid values okay or we can say the unit of measure okay so after defining the inspection characteristics you can create an inspection plan to capture them Okay, now let's go to our instance and create a work in progress inspection plan. Just click on navigator, scroll it down, click on supply chain execution task. Okay, so for work in progress inspection plan, we have to just click on quality management task. Here we have searched for like quality issues, quality actions, inspection plan, inspection characteristics, inspection level, okay, the problem reports or correct action for creating the new work in progress inspection plan. Just click on create icon. Here we have inspection plan. Just click on inspection plan. okay here we have to provide the name of our work in progress inspection plan bearing quality inspection okay okay here type that is resources receiving right now we are selecting as a type is working progress so as we select working progress here inspection level okay like item item catalog all the details are mandatory okay so after defining our working progress as a type now select your organization let's say 001 is our organization okay so after defining organization say you are going with item just select on item or item catalog attributes details like catalog name okay version okay so right now we are going with the item so select our item that is start of 1001 roller bearing click on search icon
okay here we have to select our item that is starter 1001 roller bearing okay okay after defining item if you want to specify item revision you can specify over here okay you okay, can another mandatory attribute is the start date okay these are the basic details for our inspection plan name that is bearing quality inspection type that is work in progress wip okay now here inspection plan you have to select your inspection plan like here we have 100 percent inspection okay if you are if our inspection plan is optional you have to enable the checkbox okay right now we are not enabling the checkbox owner that is scm impl okay so after defining us some basic details of our inspection plan just click on characteristics or we can say that this specification okay we here we have to create new specification for our item okay so first we have to define the sequence of our I, sequence of our characteristics or specification so first sequence that is 10 okay now we have to select the characteristics blank search here we have multiple characteristics like automated automated optical inspection battery charge bearing lubrication okay belt deflection so in accordance to your item you can select your characteristics for your particular item okay okay first we are selecting as bearing lubrication okay click on okay okay yeah targeted good or bad bearing lubrication is good or bad here we don't have any unit of measure or minimum or maximum value for that particular bearing lubrication characteristics let's add another one let's say vibration analysis for our bearing item click on search and search for blank search okay, scroll it down yeah 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 vibration analysis vibration analysis for our bearing item just click on ok ok here unit of measure for our bearing item bearing item vibration analysis is kilohertz ok the targeted value is 300 and the minimum value that is 250 kilohertz and the maximum value that is 350 kilohertz here we have the checkbox that is optional if that particular specification is optional then we have to enable the checkbox okay so in accordance to your use you can specify your uh, specification in your application inspection plan okay let's add some more inspection plan after defining the bearing lubrication and vibration analysis let's say another characteristics that is uh, visual inspection plan let's search for visual inspection okay yeah visual inspection click on okay visually inspect our bearing item okay while in manufacturing okay if i our item is good then we have to select our inspection plan that is good if item is bad okay so these are some basic parameter for our ins bearing item inspection plan let's add another one another characteristic that is consistency okay yeah consistency of our bearing item unit of measure that is pu that is per unit okay targeted value that is 415 per unit minimum value that is 400 maximum value that is 430 okay you can change the minimum sorry target value that is 410 or let's say the minimum value is 200 okay and the maximum value is 620 so in accordance to your use you can specify your inspection plan okay okay after defining our inspection spec inspection specification characteristics and we have to define the inspection criteria here we have four characteristics okay let's add some inspection criteria just click on create let's say operation sequence is 101 okay the operation code what is inspection criteria let's say 
okay rack cabinet assembly our bearing item is used for rack, rack cabinet assembly so you, you can select your inspection criteria okay so rack cabinet assembly is a operation code okay so dispatch status our item is ready for dispatch or not okay so our item is filling all the parameter of our specification then our item is ready for dispatch if our item is not uh, as per our specification then inspector okay the particular visual inspector will reject our item as well okay let's say our item is ready for dispatch okay so in this way you can uh, specify your inspection plan in our manufacturing application just click on save here we have four characteristic one inspection criteria type that is work in progress our item that is Tata 1001 inspection level that is 100% okay status let's say status is approved here we have multiple status like on hold okay if our item not made a specification then uh, quality inspector hold the items okay right now we are setting status as approved okay just click on save and close okay so in this way you can specify your inspect work in progress inspection plan in our application okay okay so thank you for watching the video thank you so much